Rebecca asks, I work with a lot of first-time home buyers who do 100% financing loans. They don't have funds to contribute towards closing costs, so I stay competitive by paying for the buyer's home warranty, kicking back part of my commission for closing costs, or reducing my commission. How else can I stay competitive? This question goes out to everyone who's out there who's constantly cutting their commission. I will tell you this, when I went on a listing presentation and I talked to the seller and they said, well, you know what? Amy down the road is cutting her commission. And you know what my response would be? I wouldn't get the defense of, okay, well, what's she cutting it to? I'm gonna cut it. Oh my gosh, well, I'll throw this in. No, no, no. Hey, let me tell you something. Some realtors, they cut their commission and they should, right? Like, they should. And here's why. Like, I offer one type of service here, guys. You know, you want the premium? That's me. The value that I'm bringing to the table is, I should be getting an increase in my commission for what I bring to the table. It's true. And so, when you have a home buyer who's doing 100% financing and doesn't have money for, for closing costs and you're gonna kick in for that, what, are, what message are you sending, right? You're gonna buy them a home warranty? I mean, they're never gonna remember you. You're buying a home warranty. I can tell you right now, they don't need a home warranty. It's their responsibility to buy a home warranty, not yours. And that's not gonna make or break the deal. If, they're, if a $400 or $500 deal is gonna get broken because of a home warranty, then to me, you didn't have a good enough client, right? And what I, I love to do is my idea was, I'm gonna generate so I don't have to tolerate. And what happens is you guys hold this one buyer and you hold on to them and you're so emotionally attached to it. And next thing you know, you're like, gosh, we're $3,000 short. Well, I'm making an $8,000 commission check. What if I just, hey, I cut it by 3,000, it's better than nothing. And we get that in our mind when all this energy could have been focused on finding better buyers who believe in your value, who actually have money to spend, and you can work with the people you want. This is the best business of the world. You get to pick and choose who you wanna work with. When you don't have leads and you don't generate, you're desperate. It's the truth, you're desperate, and I get it. Right? You want this deal, you've got bills, you've got money, you've got, you've got a lot of stuff going on. You have children in, in school and mac and cheese you need to buy. Like, I get it. So what happens is we get in this state of, if I throw in $1,000 of my commission, I can actually keep this lead. When really, you didn't even need to do it if you actually knew how to objection handle better, right? I tell you, if this buyer's a true buyer, they'll find a way to get the 1000 bucks. They will, or they won't buy, and you'll continue to contact with them, you'll continue to drip market to them, you'll continue to stay in contact, so when they are ready to buy again, that's who you're gonna get, right? They're not gonna say, you know what, buyer's agent, you're not gonna kick in your commission, so I'm gonna find someone else who will. Now, if that's the case, swim free, fishy. You gotta go, right? But I can tell you the buyers are not doing that, and if you actually provide value, and they can't purchase now because they need $1,000, They'll eventually save that $1,000, $300, $4,000, whatever it is, and then they'll purchase. And when they purchase, you'll be Captain Hero to be there and save the day and be able to help them represent them. Like, what, what happens is this, is, is we're, we're not prospecting. And when we don't prospect, we don't get leads. And we don't have leads, when we actually have one, we hold on to it and we're emotionally attached. And the problem is, that's when we're vulnerable, right? Our vulnerability is so high with, the, with less and lesser amounts of leads. And that's the problem that we have right now because people are now cutting commission. And now it's just getting the kind of commission and the value is gone when you cut the commission. If people are buying you based on price, commission, you've already lost this game. You've already lost.